the zero, I call them the zero pointers because it's not just the 1%, it's the 0.1%. Um, they're, buying, uh, they're buying up ground in New Zealand. Um, Why New Zealand? Because New Zealand is relatively isolated. It has um, a relatively mild climate. It will be relatively unaffected by climate change. And really? Yeah. Um, also, missile silos in Colorado apparently are are being recommissioned. This is a this is based on an article I read recently. Um, may have been in the Atlantic. I can work out. Th- I can I can dig out the specific reference later if you're interested. Um, about a a consultant who was hired by a bunch of zero pointers to talk about the future, and they spent about the first twenty minutes asking him the standard questions about you know cryptocurrency and right and sort of thing and then one of them kind of broke the ice and said okay how do we deal with the event this guy's like what what's the event what do you turns out the event is a word that the ultra rich use to shorthand the imminent planetary social collapse that they see as now inevitable now that the world has been bled dry and that there's no longer any market share in it really and one of the things that they were apparently most interested in getting this guy's input in is how do we maintain control of our armed security forces once the ceiling crashes in and our money's no good anymore and they realize that they've got all the guns and we can't wipe our asses without somebody helping us. (laughs) And I shit you not, in this article, one of the ideas they brought up was explosive callers for the paramilitary forces. (laughs) What? So wow. that they, you could blow somebody's head off if they got <laughs> out of line. Like, oh, man. seriously, this is something out of Doctor Strangelove. You know, I, I would think probably like automation, start getting more drones and automated. This was that exactly, that and work. oddly enough, yeah. the story that I have written on the train just coming in today for, believe it or not, I actually I'm not allowed to say who they are because it's a corporate consulting thing. But I've written other another story called Cyclopterus, which came out earlier this year, which is basically... That's one of the plot elements that the ultra rich basically decide that drones aren't going to turn on them. So they kick all these military people with, you know, Middle Eastern passports or Middle Eastern stamps on their passports. They kick them to the curb. And a lot of those people are pretty pissed off, pissed off enough to look for payback. And those people have deep military backgrounds and all sorts of resources. So... I mean, it's one of those revenge fantasies that warms your heart. So, so there is yeah. some um, real context to that. So, for example, um, if, if you look at the uh, foundation of ISIS and, you know, political science and geopolitics is, is, is one of my fun hobbies that I, that I uh, read up on. So, fundamentally, you know, one of the things that happened in Iraq was um, the U.S. came in. And one of the acts that they did, which, you know, folks regret now, is they decommissioned the entire army. So you had a million soldiers who had guns, but now they don't have jobs. Well, guess what they're going to do, right? <laughs> so, and, and a lot of them came from a certain sect of uh, Islam, the, the Sunnis, and they ended up getting recruited to all these different you know, terrorist and radical organizations because they didn't have a job, they were outcast in society, but they have guns and they have training, right? That's exactly what they're going to do. So. Yeah, it's, it's not just plausible. I think in some ways it's sociologically inevitable. Okay. So how many uh, zero pointers do you know? Um, not including you? Oh, I'm n- I'm not there yet. <laughs> <laughs> so. I don't personally know any of them. Okay. I don't think that they would hang out with somebody like me. I mean, look at me. I'm wearing a hoodie covered with cat hair. Uh, so I, I, I know a few zero pointers and uh yeah, they wear hoodies and 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 uh, at least the cool ones. Um so I'd be curious, you know, we'll, we'll maybe I'll I'll set up a dinner. I'm I'm curious to see if their you know point of view on the event and so on uh but again there's diversity within the 0.1 percent as well not everybody agrees what the you know the Koch brothers agrees uh, with right? yeah and, so, and everybody so says nice yeah. things about you know bill gates um trying to cure malaria in africa without apparent mentioning the fact that he's also apparently gobbling up all the lithium rights in that continent as well i don't really know about that stuff. I don't move in those circles, and it's very easy to fall into sort of rabbit holes of conspiracy theories. Yeah. That's something else about humanity. When when, uh, 
when we are in environments that are uncertain, that cause us to feel afraid, we are more likely to see, for example, patterns in random visual static. Yes. We're more likely to believe in gods. Yes. We're more likely to believe in conspiracy theories. Um, again, this is probably basically a, a downstream effect of an anti-predator reaction where it makes yeah. sense to see agency in a dangerous environment even if there is no agency because the cost of looking like a chicken shit when you run from the wind is much less than the cost of being eaten by a tiger yeah. if you blow off a tiger is the wind. The whole um, you know, natural selection favors the paranoid thing. No, absolutely. Couldn't agree with you more. So I, I think it's going to be an awesome dinner. <laughs> and, 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 you, and and you will be surprised. You will be pleasantly surprised. Um, uh, yeah, there are people who are screwed in the head far more than we are. So in, in a good way, in actually a good way. So I've been told, like I have a, I had dinner la um, last night with uh, a former investment banker who, because he had dirt on a number of people, got an incredible golden parachute and, and sort of retired at at 30. This was back when there actually was a financial industry. Um and, and he has since sort of had his come to Jesus moment um, and is now homeless. He basically <laughs> sold his home and he's going to basically wander the earth like Kwai Chang Kane. Yeah. But he spoke to me of all the, the millionaires that he knew on Bay Street. And um, he says they're all fucked. He says they're all shells of people that are desperately unhappy. And I don't know how much of that is wish fulfillment. I, I, and how much of I it would is, say, is actual? So, so again, I mean, from my observation, again, and this is my subjectivity here, um, speaking to many different people, uh, you know, 0.1%, 1%, 0.001% 1 as well, uh, it, it, like human beings, we're all different. We're all unique. We all pursue our own agendas, and that's what makes this game interesting. There's no one, you know, it's still a, uh, just like uh, the world state system is still anarchic, there's no one world government. The same, uh, you know, applies for the zero pointers, as you call them. I'm actually going to borrow that word. This is pretty cool. I like, I like. The I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to bring it into that. I've tried to do a couple of things in the past. I tried to, to bring in the term larva, as a, as a phrase for children. That never really caught on. I tried to, to introduce the term grab the bone, as a phrase for get a clue from 2001, yeah, right? Yeah. When yeah. the, the, the hominid picks up the bone, and so for conceptual breakthrough or get a clue, I was. Trying to uh, uh, trying to get everybody to use the phrase "grab the bone," but that never really caught on. I think maybe it sounded too pornographic. Um, <laughs> but yeah, maybe zero pointers will catch on. No, I like it. I'm going to start using it. Yeah. So, so yeah. Now we're a conspiracy. Yeah, I, I, honestly, the, you know, we started off as uh, let's talk about sci-fi, and we jumped right into conspiracy. Not that far <laughs> off. So, so we're keeping, you know, we're paying homage to good sci-fi. Well, you're, you're. I mean, you make a good point. In the, in the sense that it's always, again, it's another universal tr human trait to try and monolithize the outgroup, the other guys, right. to make them all, a, and, and you're right, there's a lot of degrees of freedom there. But we are all humans, mm 